All right, so in the last video, we saw this trick about, um, and actually, I'm going to get rid of this. We don't need this anymore, this system out, dot out, print line. But we saw this trick of just creating a new um, frame by um, having our Hello World app extend frame. So now Hello World app is a subclass of frame and knows how to do all the things frame does. All we have to do is create a new Hello World app object in our, our main method. And that will run this constructor. And it makes things a, lot, a little bit cleaner, too. You don't have to create a you know, frame and say frame dot and all that razzmatazz. Um, one thing that's a little bit different still with the um, red rect um, program here is this um, oops, this window adapter business. So this is kind of a weird looking syntax, but that, the idea is um, when we create this class down here, this is kind of a boring class. It has one teeny tiny method in it, and that method is only ever used once. Um, so it's it's kind of I, I don't know so there's this alternative kind of notation that you can use um, if this is, seems to be kind of taking up space needlessly which is called it, um, the idea is you create an anonymous class a class that doesn't have its own name like hello window adapter and basically you define the class you, you write an expression that defines the class you know right in between these these um, two parentheses. So the input, so the whole class definition basically fits in between this um, this uh, parentheses and that parentheses. Okay. So actually, I'm going to move. I'm going to put this, push this one down. And so what we're going to do is instead of saying new hello world adapter or hello window adapter, sorry, we're going to do um, we're going to create a new window adapter, but we're going to give it, um, oh, did I not? Oh, yeah. So right now it's, it's abstract. You don't need to worry about what that means right now, but what it's saying is you get, you have to plug in, uh, some kind of, um, methods in here, something for it to do. So, um, what are we going to so what we're going to do is we're going to say we're creating a new window adapter and really what we're doing is we're, we're creating a subclass of window adapter but we don't instead of giving it a name we're just going to define it right here in place we're going to give it um, oops we're going to give it a definition right here okay so we uh, so I'm going to tell you exactly what the window ad this this subclass does but I'm not going to give you a name for the subclass so I'm going to say inside here so inside here basically is where I can put my um, method definition so I'm going to copy this and stick it right in here And oh, let me, you know, this is handy too. Is there's usually some kind of a format um, option, and you should be able to find it someplace on Eclipse too. That kind of cleans up the code for you a little bit. But okay, so now we're saying I'm creating a new, I'm creating a subclass, an anonymous subclass of window adapter. And for that anonymous subclass, this is how you do window closing. And it's OK if it's anonymous, because I'm passing it. One, as soon as I create it, I'm passing it directly to add window listener. So add window listener is, is holding on to this um, object. So even though we haven't given it a name, um, because we're saying new, it's returning an object. And that object is what's being added as the window listener. So now we don't need this class anymore. Let me get rid of that. And let's save. 
Let's see, let's try running this. Make sure it works. There it is. Our window is up. And when we click on our X, hey, the window closes. Okay? So that's the, um, the basics of the frame. And then the next thing we need to talk about is the canvas, which is where all the, the drawing occurs. So basically, we stick a canvas inside the frame, and then we draw on the canvas.